What's going on, Cancer? It's your girl, D. Here with 8th House Energy. I am here to do your November 2020 Silent Enemies reading. I hope all is well in the Cancerian community. And I do want to thank you guys for showing up here. Make sure you subscribe. Um, click the notification bell. And if it resonates, hit the like button. Now, it's not going to resonate with everybody. So take what does, leave the rest. And check out your other placements because you're not just one sign. All right? Um, so the Silent Enemies reading is a reading that... Uh, is designed to get you to pay more attention to your intuitive nudges. You're already very intuitive, Cancer, but this is to help you pay more attention to your intuitive nudges uh, related to people closest to you, okay? Friends, family members, co-workers, colleagues, um, best friend, I always said friends, <laughs> oh, lovers, okay? Because we're, we're in a major um, cycle now, a lunar cycle of wrapping up these karmic connections um, that we were in um, that have spanned over the last 10 years, but the wrap-up has really started within um, the last two years. And so we're at the point where we're in the energies where the, you know, the dust is settling, so to speak. And so, you know, that began in um, Libra season with the new moon in Libra. That was a super new moon. Then there was another super full moon right after in Aries. Then there was a third super moon right after that, two in one month in the month of October, with Scorpio season. And then that third super moon was the one in Taurus. Today, as we're recording this, we are now in the new moon of Scorpio. And then in a few weeks, maybe I think another week or two, we have a lunar eclipse coming. So there's a lot of moon energy, okay? You rule the moon. So this is a lot of emotions, feelings. So you're going to be going through a lot of changes personally, emotionally, because you are the initiator of uh, change of emotions, so if there's a drop in the water, you feel it. And so you adjust your mood. This is why, you know, people may say you guys are the most sensitive sign. But it's because you're cardinal. So if there's any change in the wind whatsoever, you're going to feel it first. And your mood's going to change to reflect that while everybody else is still playing catch up because they didn't sense the energy yet. So, you know, cancer is, is really a dope sign. But you sometimes you guys get a bad rap about being moody. You can't help that. That's just how you are. So you change moods a lot. And the moon changes every 28 days. So hell, your mood's going to change. Okay? That's just how it is. So, it's, you know, it's tough being cancer. But um, I'm going to get you three cards out here. And we're going to see what the intuitive energies are, are talking about for you. What you should be paying attention to. You know, wrapping up these karmic cycles. Um, a lot of us have karmic lovers. But a lot of us have karmic family members, karmic friends, um, like your landlord of 10 years or your tenant of 10 years could have been a karmic partner to you. But it's somebody put in your life to teach you a lesson. And once the lesson is learned, the relationship falls apart. Unfortunately, when it comes to family members and lovers, a lot of us, because we're not familiar with the way universal law sets things up, as far as putting karmic partners in our life to learn a lesson, a lot of times we stick around. In these relationships and our lives just turn horrible when we need to let these people go whether they're a mother whether they're a husband whether they're you know an adult child that you just you know don't get along with things like that those are real tough things and so this is why we're in this emotional energy because a lot of people had to disconnect from very close people and their emotions are all over the place but this final lunar energy that's coming in is going to help you to move past it so you do want to take advantage of it. This is a, a great time for manifestations as well. All right. So let's see. If you want to check out some information about, you know, the uh, kickoff of the um, new moon in Libra as far as ending karmic relationships. This is happening to us on a global scale. Take a look at the community tab for 8th House Energy. Scroll down to where it says new moon in Libra. There's a link there that takes you to a... Uh, a web page that talks about that okay so for you we have the ace of wands which is um an in it's fire energy okay aries leo sag energy all right we have the ace of swords which is air energy gemini libra aquarius and then we have the three of wands this is more uh, fire energy it's aries specifically aries is cardinal fire uh cardinal fire so, and speaking of cardinal fire, um, I feel like this energy here is um, 
This is intuition for me. I'm getting strongly with this Ace of Wands. Intuition. Intuitive energies. Because like I said, you are the most sensitive of the Zodiac in reference to um, energies, emotions. Because you, you know, your, your um, moon changes every, what, two, two and a half days. It changes the face. Okay? And all of these lunar energies that we're in the midst of between now and the end of the year. So you're going to be feeling it. So you're going to be experiencing new you know, passions, new desires. Um, you could be reminiscing about old passions, old desires as well. Um, but I feel like, you know, there are some things that are coming to you intuitively that you may not have felt before um, because of these energies and wrapping up these karmic cycles. So you do want to be patient with yourself, okay? And um, just understand that you know, with all of these energies coupled with, you know, the regular phases of the moon that are going on, um, you are going to be super sensitive at this time. But you're also going to be extra magical. So think about what it is that you really, really want. The universe is giving you an opportunity. Aces are universes, the universe's opportunities to you. So the, the uh, universe is giving you the opportunity with these energies to um, inspire, uh, to be inspired um, to really think about what you're passionate about, what it is that truly motivates you, um, what it is that you desire, and to think that through thoroughly before you start, because you are you are a magnificent manifester, Cancer, okay? So think about what it is that you truly want and truly desire, and you'll be able to manifest that with these energies. But this is showing up as a silent enemy because you have to be careful. You have to really make sure you know, um, what it is that you truly want. You have to also um, understand your healing process and what stage you're in of it. Some of you have come out of very traumatic relationships, whether with uh, lovers or whether with family members, and you do need some time to heal. Um, this is going on with us globally, okay? Everybody uh, is feeling this. Uh, but for my Cancer Collective particularly, you guys um, are, are really going to be sensitive uh, during this time. Okay, and it's going to be until, you know, the end of the year when these lunar energies start phasing out. But this is just to get you ready for the new, um, the new phase we're coming into, which is 2021. See, we're leaving all of the, um, you know, 2010 to 2020. We're leaving all those energies behind. Okay. And so we're moving into a new phase in life, all of us globally. So think about what it is you want to manifest, but be careful. Um, make sure it's something that um, sits well with your spirit and your energy. And if you're still in pain and you're still healing and you're not sure what you really want, then be careful what you manifest. Okay? It's very important, especially for you, you know, um, because what you may want right now may not be what you want two months from now or even three months from now as we are approaching spring, three or four months from now when we approach spring 2020. So what I've been recommending to people is to take time to heal. So, you know, if, if you want to manifest something, maybe manifest healing your emotions, a manifest, um, you know, being able to tap into your psychic energies, your psychic abilities, um, you know, for the healing process that you're going through. Um, and we're all going through it. But uh, this is what I'm feeling for you with this Ace of Wands energy. This is just very intuitive. Some of you could be wanting to start over, wanting to start new, maybe wanting to move. Or relocate as well is what I'm feeling here so this is a great opportunity for that so if that's what you're interested in focusing your energy on to help you heal um, that would be helpful for you some of you need a trip um, I know you know there are reports of COVID getting worse I'm not gonna get into that <laughs> but um, you know if I needed a vacation I would travel I would use precaution of course but I would travel um, that's just me um, but you know, people, I look, I feel like people are interested in moving into Canceria Massive, interested in traveling. Okay. Um, that could help your spirits as well and help you, you know, to, um, go through the, the process of, of healing that the Canceria Massive is in the process of going through. Cause all of us are going through a phase of healing in some way, shape or form. We've all come out of karmic toxic connections for the most part. Hopefully you're not still in one. 
Um, but if you bring this, if you are and you're in going into 2021, things are not going to go well for you in that area of your life where that person is. You're going to notice a distinct difference that the only issue in your life is <clears throat> this person, place, or thing. Because that was supposed to be left behind in 2020. A lot is supposed to be left behind in 2020. Unfortunately, a lot of people, a lot of ideologies, a lot of relationships that you're supposed to learn lessons from are to be left behind in 2020. And this is your, this is like your navigation through 2020. It could be dark. This is like your navigation through the rest of 2020. You know, it's dark, but you are the initiator. So you have that light and whatever you come across, whatever your intuitive energy tells you, that's what you're going to adjust and change to. So I feel like you are like at the forefront here of the emotional uh, change. So, you know, you want to make sure that you are doing this from a healthy state of mind. All right. So do the things that inspire you. Do the things that um, uh, excite you. You know, like I said, some of you, it's travel. You may want to take a trip. Okay. Some of you may be interested in relocating and moving. This Ace of Swords energy here is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So what I feel for this Cancer is this is accepting the reality of a situation. Accepting the truth. Finding out the truth. So while you're sifting through, while we're all planetary-wide, sifting through these emotions of all these lunar energies that we're going to be experiencing throughout the rest of the year, um, we're looking for the truth in things. Um, being able to accept the reality of the situation as is, um, which could be difficult for a lot of people to do. But if you look at this window here, you see the wind blowing in. It's like a breath of fresh air, okay, um, blowing in to uh, clear out you know, the energies that were in there. So the truth is going to come in um, symbolically and blow in and clear out any, uh, you know, negative fog or residual um, in there, okay? And what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to plan for your future and move forward. This truth is it, it, going to be very difficult for a lot of people to handle because of the fact that you, you come from a place of dealing with emotion, okay? Um, but you do want to balance that uh, with logic, it's very important. Um, and so this is showing up here in your silent enemy reading because it's very important that you look at the logical aspect of things, the reality of the situation. Sometimes you may need to just ground yourself um, and you can use stones to do that. You can use um, black uh, tourmaline. Okay, here's a piece of black tourmaline. Uh, you can use black onyx. You could use tiger's eye. Uh, you could use black obsidian, but you can keep little stones like this in your pocket. Um, this is not black obsidian or any of those I named, but just showing you the size. You can keep something like this in your pocket. You can get bracelets if you want, rings, necklaces, earrings, um, but some grounding stones. Because that'll help you to, if you need to take a break from your emotions. Because you're really going to be feeling this more so than anybody. All this lunar energy it make make you a little queasy like what the hell one moment you feel one way moment you feel another way but when you're switching from those moments what you want to do is focus on the truth of those situations and accept the fact that that's what the truth is the truth is going to blow in and it may be difficult but you know grounding stones can help you as well but this is what i'm feeling with this ace of swords um and this is why it's showing up in a silent enemies reading because if you don't accept the truth, it could put you in a position where you're going to be held back. Speaking of held back, we have the Three of Wands energy here. Okay, Aries energy. And this is an energy of, for some people, holding back, not moving forward. Because they're not sure of the course that's ahead of them. Um, if you see this person here is on top of this uh, boat and they need to get to uh, this boat over here. But between them is this... Uh, black hole or whatever you call it. I don't know what you call that I forget I'm at a loss of words for that but um at any rate the goal is to get off of this boat and to get over there to uh more calmer waters so it's like you're hesitating here trying to figure out what you need to do you have the desire to get there right you have the passion to get there but you have to accept the reality of the situation in reference to, okay, well, how am I going to get there? How is that going to work? So, you know, getting there takes proper planning, okay? It takes being in touch with your emotions and your feelings, understanding that, you know, um, 
this is how I feel right now, but I may not feel this way in another two days. Remember, the moon changes phases every two days. So you may want to take your time and make decisions about things. You may want to journal, write down how you feel right now, because this is a very magical time right now. Um, you know, for some of you, you may not be as sensitive. You This may be a time where you are so sensitive. This is the most sensitive you've been this three-month period um, that you can remember, okay? So journaling may help. Grounding stones may help. Okay, but you definitely have a decision that you need to make with the three of wands in reference to how to move forward. Okay, and when to move forward and how to go about doing it and accepting the truth in the situation and being passionate about uh, accepting that truth and moving forward is what's going to help you to propel you over that um, that black hole there. Okay, to get you to safety. It may look a bit challenging. It may look very difficult. But also, you know, you're jumping. This is all of your emotions between one boat and the other. Water represents the emotions. So your emotions are going to be a little rough. It's going to be a bit difficult to navigate the waters. But, you know, you're, you're going to figure out how to get over this. And with the grounding stones, drinking a lot, you know, drinking tea, meditating, um, and just making sure, just taking a pulse on your emotions uh, from time to time is what's really going to help you to hone that in and to get control so that you can um, maneuver these rough waters. Um, because I look at it as if where you're at right now is where we are in the month of November, you know, um, in, in the winter period. I feel like over here is where you're trying to get. I feel like this is where we're all trying to get in some way, shape or form. But this represents 2020. 2021 spring okay so you're trying to get from there to here so this is what we're all experiencing right now okay in some way shape or form but because you're cancer you're dealing with emotion so water is going to be what's separating you from the rest of this month to uh spring 2020 um and clearing out all of these energies is the uh goal okay so you don't want to get sucked into your emotions too deep okay this is why it's very important that you accept the truth in the situations and it may be hard to do but if you do that and focus on look okay i have to accept the reality of the situation the reality yeah my emotions are one way but the reality is is what's gonna keep you afloat and, and allow you to get over to where you need to get to so you do have a little work for some of you cancers you have a lot of healing to do OK, but it's not anything you can't get through. And if you uh, res I'm sorry, if you um, click like and um, click uh, subscribe, subscribe and hit the notification bell. You know, this is why I'm here. I'm here to help you navigate through these waters. Just make sure you follow the Cancer 2020 playlist. Some of you may want to look back at some of the uh, cancer videos just to get a gauge on what was going on to see if you resonate with anything. But also look at your other placements, your other signs. Um, I'm not like every other tarot card reader. I incorporate astrology heavily into my readings and, uh, along with whatever's going on in the real life as far as what where the planetary alignments are right now. Okay, and I incorporate that in the readings to help you get an understanding and a sense of what you might be feeling. Okay, and what's going on with the collective as a whole to help you navigate. Now, I can't, you know, tell you how to do things, but I can give you an example of what is going on and what you may be experiencing and get you, you know, help you to get you prepared. So, yeah, you're definitely ready to move on, okay, is what I'm feeling for some of you. But you have to be careful that you deal with your emotions first before you move from one um, relationship to another, before you move from one job to another, whatever the karmic uh, situation was. You know, um, some of you, it's with family members. So, yeah, this is why there's so much emotion in here. Okay. Some of you it's ex-lovers that you have children with and you still have to deal with. This is why there's so much emotion here. But um you have to be careful not to get sucked into that black hole, Cancer. All right. So what we're going to do is um hopefully this resonated first of all. So click the like button. Um thank you so much and leave a comment and let me know, okay? Um also we're going to go to the extended cuz we're going to break these down a little bit. What is it that you need to accept the truth about? What is it that you need to be inspired about? OK, or what is it that you need to really follow your intuition about what specifically is going to be at the forefront in this healing uh, process? All of us globally are in this winter of healing right now. 
All of us are coming out of karmic cycles, you know, but this just speaks to the Cancerian massive. But um, everybody else globally is healing in their own way, shape, or form. Like I said, you have more than one placement in your chart. So you may want to look at your other placements to see what other areas um, you are going to need healing in um, and reflection in and accepting the truth in. And um, this will give you a, a, a better, more rounded um, view of you as an individual and what you uh, need to be focused on during this winter of healing. Okay, I will um, attach um, some videos at the end of this video that uh, may help you to uh, navigate. Um, there is a moon that's called, there's a video called the Triple Moon, um, the Super Triple Moon video, and that talks about um, some of the things that you guys will be dealing with as Cancerians. Please check that out. All right, so without further ado, we're going to go to the, in, um, the extended. I'm going to play some cards for all of these, clarify a little bit more detail get you a little bit more information and then we're going to pull some oracles for advice all right that way you'll know what to focus on for this winter of healing i love you cancer and i do want to thank you for uh tuning in and i will see you in the extended or in the next reading peace out